Oh, hey guys, it's Marina from Tech Muse. So I'm here. I'm not at home. I don't have my usual setup. So I hope the sound is okay. Um, my first reel was a disaster. <laughs> I spent five hours to prepare a nice. Uh, and now my headphones fail. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, man. Anyway. I decided to do this a very, very small tutorial uh, that I learned a very cute trick in Google Sheets that is called uh, multiple dynamic drop downs. So check it out. If you choose here one value, you will have a certain range uh, array, a range of values. But if you choose another value, you're going to have a different set of uh, values. No. So this is what is so cool about it. So how you do it is very, very simple, guys. Um, here you create your uh, values for the first data validation list of values. And here under each uh, value, you create a, an array of uh, values that you want to use here in the name data validation. Okay. So, the trick here is to highlight this uh, dictionary, let's say dictionary, okay, and click uh, define name range, and then you, you name it beer, like this, but I already have a beer, and I already have whiskey and wine, yes, uh, <laughs> so, then what you do is you're gonna create this small formula that is called transpose, if error indirect and refer to this cell so what it will do it will take the f3 cell value and uh, assign the corresponding a range of values to this b6 um, cell and it's gonna transpose it so look if you choose here beer it's gonna take the values from the beer named uh, range so so cool no uh and uh, what else what else what else ah, and then the last thing you do is you add the data validations here so you do it like this data validation and then you choose this range okay i will move it this range and click ok save and here is a little trick you do the same you choose the data validation but uh, this time you're gonna choose this array, this dynamic array, okay, and uh, save. But you also gonna go back to this data validation formula and delete this automatically added dollar signs because we don't need this array to be fixed because it's dynamic. So you save and then you can just copy all these cells down. Okay, and here you have it. Multiple dynamic drop-downs in Google Sheets. Booyah!